Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So a while back, I released the dig to go by far, I think the easiest WLED controller on the market and probably also the smallest one, but uh, it comes with great features if you didn't see. So it has a button. Yes, that's its best feature. No, no, no. It has a USB-C input, which will take up to three amps. It has DuPont style connection, so you can expand with it. A built-in digital microphone, uh, USB flashing built in there, a IR receiver, and well, the button. Anyway, if you haven't seen the video about the dig to go release, uh, please watch it over there. Uh, but today we're going to talk about using different kinds of LEDs because we've all, you know, used LED strip. So if you hook up a dig to go, you hook up the LED strip and then you hook up power like that. And I have a little power meter here, if you can see it. And we're drawing 10 watts currently. I need to go to this one. Yes, so we can change the color of the LEDs, of course, and we can do cool effects. So like, I like the, where is it? The Paletti effect with the default colors. And you, you know, the default LED strip, let's max it out. It, you know, has individual LEDs. This is a WS2812B that I just got out of a uh, Quinn box. And it's a generic 60 LEDs per meter strip. But what if you don't want to use strip lights, but you might want to use a different kind of LED? Well, that's what we're going to look at today, because I have two examples. So we're going to disconnect this dick to go, put it over here. And the first example are these pixel style LEDs. Now, these are 50 LEDs per string, and they come with uh, X style, X connect style connectors. But that's a standard multiple people use. And as I said, 50 LEDs per string, they are watertight and these can be had in five volt or 12 volt. This is of course the five volt variant because it's for the dig to go. Now there's actually something to be said for that. The 12 volt variant is often used with a dig uno, dig quad or dig octa. And that works great if you need to do long distances and hundreds of pixels but the 12 volt is actually, or the 12 volt variant is actually a lot less efficient than the five volt variant. It'll use about double the power for the same amount of light as the five volt variant will do. And because of that, you can actually use a dig to go, which is limited to, as I mentioned, five volt, three amps, um, for up to 150 pixels without too much of an issue or voltage drop. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, I, I kind of bodged a, a pigtail here, but I am dubbing or playing with the idea of maybe pre-making these cables and then selling pixels in a bundle. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in that. So we take one of these ends and connect it to these guys and then connect this to USB-C. And that immediately powers up. Oh, okay. You kind of want to see the power meter probably. And I believe that's this one. Let's see if that works. Yes. So we can now go to blue. We can go to red. We can go to green. And we can do a refresh because that error that's there, that's not correct. There. And um, let's do Paletti again. And it'll do, well, our chosen effect. And we're currently only using three watts. So let's uh, max that out there. Well, still only doing 5.5 watts. So we can easily drive 50 of these pixels. But what now if we add another string? There, you can just connect them while they're running. That's fine. Now we're up to... 9.5 watts so we're starting to get there so let's connect the uh, the rest of the uh oh wait no <laughs> these two were already connected so now we're up to three strings and if you look closely and with the brightness maxed out you can see well the camera can't really see i need to adjust this slightly there 
something like that, you can see that the last string is slightly less bright than the first string. That is because of 5 volt and you need to do power injection and stuff like that because we're not exceeding 10 watts yet, so uh, the dig to go can handle more. But it, there's only so much you can inject into a single injection point. I have a whole injection video, it's about LED strips, but I'll, I'll link it up above and in the description. But there's only so much that can go into a single injection point. That's also what makes the dig to go so nice, is that if you're not planning to power inject anyway, well, there's no real reason to use a bigger controller because it's not going to make much of a difference. So um, we, we can you know, do some different effects, I guess. Uh, yeah. So these are 5 volt bullet style pixels. You can have different style pixels, but in the end, they're basically the same and they're nice and bright and they have a nice diffused head on them. And even better, uh, I can show you that too. They, you can buy pre-made extension cables for them. So let's disconnect the dig to go put it into the extension cable, and then connect it to the pixels again. Now this is a six meter or whatever is on the screen feet cable. So that's actually quite a big length and it will lower power usage a little bit. Of course, it'll depend on the pattern we use. Let's put it to solid and solid red. Well, this is still drawing nine watts. Let's do solid white. And we can see slightly a little bit of voltage drop. So because of the extension cables, we are using or we're losing some of our power because five volt voltage drops very quickly. Still, if you wanted to do, um, if you only needed 150 pixels or say 100 pixels and you only needed one or two meters extension, this could be a great setup if you need something else than an LED strip. And I've actually used this in combination with a power bank because five volt power bank. Let's uh, disconnect this cable and let's put it in my power bank. I have to turn it on there. Should boot right up. And there we go. Our pixels are back. Let's do our effect again. And there we now have a fully mobile setup that'll run off a power bank for hours and hours because we're only drawing, currently we're only drawing 5.5 watt. Well, you can do the calculations, how that lo how long it can then run off of that power bank. I'll, I'll do an example calculation somewhere on the screen. So these I think are a great alternative to running a strip. Um, they have a very different effect and if you just need 150, you can do that without power injection and run those off, off of a dig to go that'll run off a power bank, right? So that's the first kind I wanted to show you. Uh, so let's just disconnect this as a whole, put this back into the adapter and uh, let's move this aside. There. My desk is such a giant mess. Anyway, the second variant I wanted to show you is over here. And I need to get it. And that's also a style of pixels, but they're very, very tiny. And if you've paid attention to my articles and videos over the years, you will have seen these from a few years back. And these are still the same style pixel I also use in my Christmas tree. Because they have a very uh, thin silver wire that doesn't have any plastic or PVC over them but they're enameled or coated in a way that, well, they don't short out or they don't short circuit even if they're lying on your, on your desk like this. They can if you push them together really tight or you put them in a knot. But generally speaking, let's see if that works there. You can just have them running right through each other and still work perfectly fine. I'm trying to get the display on the screen there and I need to go to a different dig to go and now this one should work. Yep. So this one's slightly less bright than the others. Let's put it to full power there. Still, I, I mean, can, I haven't adjusted the camera versus the other LEDs. It's still in the same settings, except when I load it. And I think these make for a very nice and vibrant LEDs. So we have red, green, and blue. Let's do the 
paletti effect again. Where is it? I really should learn to use the search function. And there it is. In default. Yes. Now, these are slightly less bright, but the advantage they do have is that at the you can see even though this one is reversed, so the front is over here where the LED is, because of the epoxy or whatever, it's shining through. They kind of have a very nice 360 effect. And uh, this is about a hundred of them running at full brightness Paletti. And you can see they, they barely sip power. Now, that makes them great for running off of a power bank or a dig to go. But the problem is that still you can only use about 150 or so before you start suffering from voltage drop. I did a whole video series on these uh, when I was building my Christmas tree and there I did a whole voltage drop video on these. So you can see the result and how often you need to power inject and stuff like that on there if you'd want to use a dig uno, dig quad or dig octa. But for using with the dig to go again, I'd recommend 150 of these tiny little pixels max. And again, that'll run great off of a power bank because, well, we're only using three watts and this is still a decent amount of light. And again, you can use it for very different use cases than the bigger pixels, for instance, or LED strip. Right, let's, uh, let's quickly do uh, another type of effect. Uh, I don't know, Pride 2015 or uh, Rainbow or uh, saw, I like saw. Saw is also running in the background. So the background is actually WS2815, but you can do that with WS2812B2, uh, but they're 144 LEDs a meter. So that gives a very nice effect on camera. And again, you know, all kinds of different things you can do with these LEDs. Let's go to, ah, yeah. So very different pattern again. And I really like these tiny little beads. Truth be told, I have had some strings that have failed. I've bought about, I've bought about 10 of these strings and two of those had issues. And well, if you looked closely on my desk here, you can see I actually performed some uh, modifications there because they're pretty easy to solder. Because if you put a solder blob on the coating and leave it there for a little while, it'll burn away the coating and then you can just solder them really easily. So for instance, if you had a mobile project where well, this is only using 1.5 watt, uh, you wanted to attach this to a piece of clothing and you don't need the most amount of light output or something like that, or you want to run uh, for a good amount of few hours on one of these power banks. I think this, the, this style of led is very nice for that. So, yeah, that was just a quick video showing you some versatile options uh, you can uh, well, <laughs> use with a dig to go. Um, you don't just have to use LED strip. Myself, I've used uh, the bullet style pixels in two or three mobile projects now where I just needed to have some light or I needed to add some colors to some photos or uh, one, once we were in someone's garden and it was getting kind of dark and he didn't have light in his patio. And it was, I was like, hold on, I've got something in the car. And I just threw a power bank in the table, strung these around the ceiling. And that gave plenty of light to sit there for a few hours more. So very easy ideas. Of course, you need to pay attention to water proofing things. And if you're going to do a permanent installation, maybe look at a dig uno or dig quad, then you can run hundreds of those. No problem either. Um, but yeah, very versatile. And I just like wanted to show you other things you then led strip you can do with a dig to go. Okay. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next video. Bye bye.